Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I am finally finishing out the last wave of the 2018 waves. Now, of course, there are those four cars from wave five that I'm still missing. So those will come in time eventually. Um, but as far as the number waves, wave 12 is the last one of 2018. And we finally have all of it. Um, it took a while to find um, these two. Because, I don't know, I just couldn't find them in stores. Um, Jimmy one took a little bit longer, but I still found them before these two. And then the rest of them I all found, like, weeks ago, back in, like, late December. But anyway, all we have here is actually an older model, apparently. Um, yeah, it's an older model, which people are complaining about. In the packaging, it doesn't look too bad. Let's let's see how bad it looks um, out of the packaging, but I can definitely see it on some of them, but most of them, like, they look fine. I, I don't see the problem. And also, I just want to point something out with the Eric Jones one. Um, I don't know what to believe, because there are some people that say that there are liquid color cars, but of course, this also, this looks shiny, but maybe not, of course, also still in packaging, but maybe not liquid color. And this, this is the, um, the thing I choose to believe that all of them are like this, uh, especially cause it's like basically a bonus wave. That's why every single one is shiny like this, kind of like a liquid color and that this is a misprint. Look for Crestman liquid color chase. That that's a misprint cause all of them are the chase piece so to speak, even though if, if it's all of them, it's not really chase piece, but you get the point. And then there's other people who, who are saying that does exist. And I've seen eBay listings. I wasn't about to go buy it, but I've seen eBay listings. There's literally pictures claiming, um, well, yeah, claiming that they have the liquid color one and it looks exactly like this. And then there's some where it's like lot of two, Normal and liquid color side by side, they look exactly the same. So I don't, I don't know. I what I choose to believe is that all of them are like this because this is shiny in itself. Um, and I hope I'm right, <laughs> so that I don't find out a long time from now that oh yeah, that car that long ago, yeah, there actually was a Chase piece edition of that. But anyway, enough rambling about that. What we have here is the Denny Hamlin FedEx Cares number 11 car. And all of these are 2018, if you couldn't tell. This is Chase Elliott's Hooters number 9. This is Matt Kenseth's Wyndham Rewards Patriotic number 6. This is Martin Truex Jr.'s Bass Pro Shops Patriotic without the 5-hour energy on the side there. This is Jimmy Johnson's Jimmy Johnson Foundation slash Lowe's. Number 48, this is Chris Busher's, uh, I guess, Bush's Best, number 37. This is William Byron's Liberty University Patriotic Edition, number 24. As shown before, this is Eric Jones's number 20 Craftsman. Um, I like how Walmart still doesn't know how to spell his name either, even though it's written on the packaging. They, <laughs> they always spell it with a C. Um, and then finally, Clint Boyer's Storehouse Racing Fan Club, number 14. So, yeah, that is all of them. Now it's time to open them up. Okay, so he, we are back. Um, they don't look bad at all. They actually look pretty good. Uh, people were probably just complaining over nothing. Although the one flaw that I see is that you can tell us the older car. Cause look at first of all, the placement of the windshield. If I could hold on to the camera while trying to focus it, there we go. Um, and you see where the nameplate used to go. Um, is, do I even have cars over here that still have the nameplate on the front? Let's, oh, right here. If I can grab it. Like that. That's why there's that much space up there. And everything fall. I love when the hoods fall. 
Happens almost every day. Okay, whatever. Okay, so that's fixed until next time I need to make changes to it, which is probably later today if I'm going to add these ones. But yeah, basically, as I was saying, people are just complaining over nothing. There's also a space like that on the back, I guess, for when they made Xfinity cars, because I think at at the time, Xfinity... Oh, no, maybe they always had Xfinity front and back was their name. Either way, they used the back at some point. So you can tell these are older models, but they don't look bad. At all. I was thinking they would look like exactly like the 2014 15 Authentics models. Um, but no, they, they don't look that bad. Um, so yeah, people are just complaining. But here we have a heavy magnet for some reason. FedEx cares. All of these, I believe, are magnets. I think that's the truth. Um, focus. So here we are, the FedEx cares number 11. This when I first saw this, this actually looks pretty similar to uh, his current 2019 regular FedEx car. Of course, some obvious differences, like there's no camouflage. Um, Team Rubicon, I just noticed that. That's something that Chase Elliott had on his car for the Clash, and there's also camouflage on that. So, disaster response, that's what it is. But yeah. Overall, pretty solid car. Hooters. It is, I'm sure lots of people are familiar with this paint scheme at this point. I don't know if they've ever really changed it. I, I've noticed that even with this car, I wasn't expecting it with this car, but every Chase Ellie car that's come out this year has had some sort of special finish on. You can kind of see it in the light there. I don't really know how to describe it. It's almost like a sparkly sort of thing. On this one, it's in the orange. On like the Napa car, it's in the blue. Uh, on Mountain Dew cars, it looks really cool because that thing's almost all green. But yeah. Um, here we have the Wyndham Rewards number six. Mac Kenseth, patriotic version. The non... Well, there isn't a liquid color of this, but in the regular Wyndham Rewards car there was a liquid color version which i have and uh, we have a little chip on the spoiler and yeah pretty normal there besides the spoiler here we have martin Truex jr's best pro shops patriotic like i said it still looks weird when five hour energy is supposed to be on the side here and there's just nothing it always looks weird when that happens. Uh, you can actually see three wind stickers right there, so that's cool. I guess they they pretty much do that, obviously, with the race, the raced version cars. This isn't a raced version. Probably the reason why that's there is because since this was only used in one race, obviously it's easy to determine which race it was if it only ran one race. So it's like, okay, just put the details on there from, you know, from that race because, you know, it's the only race it ran. I, I still understand, though, on that Bill Elliott Xfinity car, why there's a wind sticker on there. Uh, Jimmy Johnson Foundation. Not much to say here. You have your Lowe's. Probably the best-looking paint scheme of, of Jimmy's of 2018, honestly. Probably just because it kind of brings a throwback a little bit because the Jimmy Johnson Foundation has changed a little bit, but the paint scheme hasn't changed all that much. And something I'm just noticing now is how, and I think it's on all these, but I don't know if it actually is, but the Goodyear Eagle, where it says that, does that look a little bigger to you guys? Kind of to me. And you have stuff on the deck lid, just sponsors. Uh, Chris Busher. Bush is best. And yeah, I must say here it has another kind of special finish, kind of like Chase Elliott's did. Have, of course, has all the Kroger sponsors, especially if you look on the deck lid. It's a lot of Kroger sponsors. Is that different? Oh, yeah, Louisiana hot sauce is on both sides. But yeah, there you go. 
And some of these have different bodies. Like this one has a black body. The normal one, which most of them have, are the gray ones. That has black, 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 uh, tan, I guess you want to say. Um, William Byron. Here it is. It's pretty much the same paint scheme um, as his normal Liberty University. Of course, there are the red, white, and blue in the logo of Liberty, both on the hood and the, on the sides and the deck lid. Um, but other than that, it's pretty much the same Bane scheme. Not too much different. I move on to Eric Jones' Craftsman car. And I wouldn't say this is necessarily a liquid color, but it obviously does have a certain shine to it. It kind of, and it feels different too. It feels and looks like, kind of like a matte finish, I would say, which looks really cool on this car. But... Yeah, that's the way it looks. I don't know how much it will turn up on camera like that, but that's the way I'm interpreting this, and it looks really cool. I really like that. And now on to the last car. We have Clint Boyer's Storehouse Racing Fan Club car. Um, so yeah, Fan Club, and then it's just a bunch of their sponsors. Not really a fan club then, is it? If it's just sponsors. But, yeah. Social.com slash fan club. Yeah. Website link. And, yeah. There's really not much. According to... Because I played NASCAR Heat Mobile for a short time. Very short time. But according to that game, the testing cars... Because they have testing cars in that game for every major cup driver... But the Storehouse Racing cars all had this same paint scheme listed as their tested car, testing cars. I don't know if that was true or not, but I don't know. It seems kind of lazy if that was their testing car to just <laughs> stick their fan club on and then uh, put it in the race. Although, to be fair, most test cars are blank and they actually clearly put some effort into that one. So anyway, that is it for me. Wave 12. Once again, Wave 5 should be coming, I don't know how soon. I've been saying it's coming soon for a while. But I will eventually get on that eBay and finally get the last four that I'm missing from Wave 5 of 2018. But as far as new waves, waves I'm actually going to be finding and getting in stores, we look forward to Wave 1 of 2019 now, which has no 2019 cars in it. But other than that, thanks for watching, guys, and I will see you all later.